Hey y'all, it's Will the Deep Sky Dude. Uh, this is going to be an interesting video, I hope, if all goes according to plan. So it's a beautiful day. It's Wednesday, April the 25th, I think, 2018. Um, it's about 1.30. I'm going to be heading this direction uh, about an hour away. And um, I'm bringing the solar scope. I've got the mount, everything back here. Um, basically, the International Space Station is going to cross the disk of the sun uh, out that way. And um, if I'm in the right position at the right time, I should be able to catch it. So um, I've got everything loaded. Um, I'm going to basically get ready to head down there and see if I can capture this thing. It's going to happen in a split second. It's like 0.7 seconds long. The skies, as you can see, are absolutely beautiful today. Just the bluest blue. I saw this pass from the International Space Station and I couldn't pass it up. So um, I'm gonna get the gear ready and we're gonna head down to Crystal Beach. So let's go. Alright, so while we're driving out to the site, I'm going to show you guys how I found out about this pass and the methodology that I went to uh, capture all this. So this is transitfinder.com, very powerful stuff here. You enter your latitude, longitude, and or you can auto detect and select from the map and it's going to tell you uh, within a certain date range how many passes there are going to be that are going to be nearby. And what you're going to want to do is put yourself in the middle of this path of totality, if you will, uh, where the International Space Station is going to go across the disk of the sun. So first thing we got to do is tell it where we're at. And I'm going to put the cursor here near Port Arthur, Texas. You can see it propagates the latitude and longitude up there. And uh, the date ranges only go out so far because it's hard to predict exactly where the International Space Station will be uh, at any one time in, in, the, in the distant future. I've raised the, uh, the distance to 120 kilometers. That definitely helps. And you can see here's all the passes for nearby me coming up in the next few days or so. Uh, they're rated by stars. You can see that and um, basically you click on one and it brings this up now that red bar going across the map that's where you want to be that's where if you're standing in that zone looking at the sun at the exact right moment you will see the ISS pass over the disk of the sun um, obviously you want to do this safely with filters so if you don't know what you're doing don't attempt this uh, unless it's a lunar pass and then uh, that would be really cool to see visually or also with a camera. Now you can see I've, I've, I've zoomed in here. I've got a nice little location. You can click on any part of the, uh, of the path of totality and it'll give you the data for that particular place. Um, angular size of the space station uh, in arc seconds, duration of the pass, all kinds of data. Uh, you can zoom around and make sure you have like a parking lot or somewhere you can set your telescope up, make sure you get the pass. So this is going to be really cool. Um, you can see that if you click on the outer edges of this path, you can see that the arrow changes. And that's because the angle of the uh, where the space station is and where you are will change. So you want to be right in the middle of that path. And that puts the ISS passing right through the heart of the sun. And that's what you want. You want as much time with it as you can. So it's a very powerful website. Um, you can click on all these other ones and it gives you um, sort of the data for those. And uh, again, you put yourself in the middle of that red bar, anywhere on it basically, and uh, you're going to get good stuff as long as you're taking data at exactly the right time. And, um, you know, I love this map. You can zoom in, find yourself a little place on the side of the road, and get all the important stuff so you know when and where to be. And that makes capturing something like what I'm going for here today possible. So big shout outs to transitfinder.com. Thank you guys for putting this together. That makes stuff like this 
possible for people like us, uh, the lowly amateur astronomers out there who are in it for the fun. So there it is. Let's do this. Set up. Everything is clicking, looks like. All right, so I'm focused up for the second time. Everything's tracking really well. And uh, so waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and run the video because I wanna make sure I'm in position. Let's get that thing centered up. I'm waiting for 412. There's 412. Okay. So it should be by any second. Okay, I didn't see anything. I must have looked, I might have looked away. 